Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Shorts here. Um, in this video, we're just gonna talk about um, using dates, how you can basically create a task in the future or in the past, depending on how many days or even today. So what what are we gonna do is we're just gonna go into Dev Console. Um, we created this Apex class in one of our previous videos. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. So basically from the anonymous window, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a couple of different um, date values that we could use for this, okay? So we need to add three parameters in here. So let's just start with the ID first. So we need to use an account ID. So this account doesn't have any tasks. So let's just grab this ID for now. And I'll put it in there. Uh, next thing that we need is a string for subject. So let's just call this subject equals um, future task all right so now we can get down to due date so for due date um first thing that we'll need to do is use date dot today so this is pretty much our starting point so so from here we can we can do a whole lot of other things but yeah as you can see once you've got dates here you can do a few things like you can do add days um, day of year, days and month. So there's quite a, quite a few different options here. So we'll keep, try and keep it simple. Um, so let's go with date dot today, and then we'll go date dot add days. Or well, actually, we probably don't even need the date. We can just go date dot today dot add days. So if we wanted to add seven there. Okay, this would add basically add seven days to today. Um, we'll do a few examples like this. So let's say you wanted to do it in the past. We could do something like this. And then this would be, um, yeah, obviously seven days in the past. Then what we could also do, oopsie. And what we could also do is we could do date.today.add let's say add or instead of adding let's go add months instead of days so this will add three months so add three months from today then we could even push it a little bit further and maybe go dot to to start of month and so what this is going to do is it's going to basically add three months from the start of the start of the month so like today could be the 15th or the 27th whatever it is it's going to start on the first of the next month and then push it on three months from there so yeah let's give this one a try um see how it goes so it's going to comment out all the other ones that we've got so next step is we just need to create our task. Um, instantiate this. So let's just call the CT equals new task. And then call the method. Alrighty. So inside of our method, we just want to pass in our three parameters that we've got here at the top. So we'll pass in our ID, our subject, and the due date. All right, sweet. And let's hit execute. Uh, unexpected so token CT. Do, 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 do. What's going on here? Ah, yeah, that's always something. Variable does not exist ID. Uh, da, 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 da. ID, my ID. Yeah, sorry, just forgot a couple of things here. So let me just update all of them. That should be all good now. No, it's not. Date. Alrighty, it's executed now. So now that that's executed, let's um, just go straight into our task. We could check it out in here as well. But we'll just go into our account. Um, this task has been created. So as you can see, 
due date is the 1st of June and it's created in March. So it's basically push it out three months from now. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's a few ways you can play around with it. Um, and yeah, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.